the Raven, I played Carlotta Terranova, Vincenzo's mama, a wise guy. straight across. 
And uh, so it was, sometimes it was difficult when I was working in a scene with him not to stare at his eyebrow <laughs> because I remember what Kay had said. We were still pretty new at each other and I, I don't remember, maybe it was the third show or so. And Ken was such an attractive young man. And we had a scene where he has been away and he comes and visits his mama and he's, he's went in and took a shower. And when he came out, he was, he was naked from the waist up. I didn't expect him to be. And he'd been shaving, and I think he had a little um, a shaving cream on his face. And we had an exchange, and then he surprised me by grabbing me and hugging me. And I remember my face was up against his shaving cream, and I remember thinking, oh, this gorgeous young face is hugging me. And I felt my face getting red, and I thought, remember, this is your son? So this is your son? So uh, apparently it, it wasn't as obvious to the director or anybody else, but I had to remind myself that I'm a character, and this is, this is the son of this character. One day, God willing, you'll be my age, and maybe you'll understand how I feel. She's even better at this than you are, Sarah. Jonathan Banks, I, I didn't have much to do with Jonathan's character until uh, very late in the show when my son's character, Vincenzo, was missing and I had, uh, had scenes with Jonathan Banks, but I was always so impressed with him. And of course, Jim Burns, what a talented young man, and he really had no legs. It was so wonderful that they had a role for him that was absolutely perfect. This contact for everybody in the wheelchair. But he also was able to uh, use crutches and wear prostheses when he needed to. I hope I'm not disturbing you, but uh, I am getting out of here today. I have all these beautiful flowers, and I thought that uh, I'd score some points by leaving them with a beautiful lady. Thank you. You're very welcome. You just take care of yourself and get well. Bye-bye. And, and thinking about the show's production values, I, I think they were really wonderful. Of course, Camel hired the best of, of every field, but I remembered a friend was visiting from New York who had never seen the show, and I showed him, I don't even remember which segment it was, but I showed him one of the one-hour shows. And boy, when, when we were through in my living room, I remember him saying, wow, that, that's as good as a feature film. The production value is excellent. And, of course, they had rented a home for us in Vancouver that was uh, the uh, Terra Nova home. And I remembered, it's so important, the production values are important for the camera, but they're also important for the actors. If the actors really feel this is their home, this is their kitchen, this, a lot of your, your work is done for you. And I remembered the scene in which Don Ayupo is shot in his greenhouse in the backyard. It was so vivid because we were in this real house, um, Vinny and his girlfriend at the time and I, and we were fooling around. And then we hear shots. And my character actually ran from the living room, through a hole, down the back stairs, into the backyard, into the greenhouse, with the camera following me all the way. And there is my husband, shot and bleeding. And as an actress, uh, it was so easy to become totally involved with the character that when I ran screaming down the steps and, and, and took him in my arms, uh, it was so real to me. And I don't remember how many takes we did, but every time it was so believable, so real. And then uh, the ambulance arrived and my character runs to the ambulance and wants to get in the ambulance with, with the shot man and they don't want to let her in. And Ken Wall's character, Vincenzo, said, no, it's her husband, let her in the intensity of the, of the action.
production. It was so well lit and photographed and, and produced that it was as real to me as I hoped it would be to the audience. Why don't you answer? There's nobody I want to talk to. that I loved and that people loved. 